Hello guys, it's Max again and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you how to make your bike quicker and this will be completely legal, wouldn't void your warranty and it wouldn't cost you more than 20 pounds. So keep watching. Well first let me share with you my motivation why I decided to make it quicker at all. Well first of all I'm riding this 125 and it's not the fastest bike in the world. It's only 125 but before this bike I used to have Honda Gram and Honda Gram is so incredibly quick and uh, when I just got this one I jumped from Honda to Husqvarna I felt that uh, Husqvarna is just uh, it's sleeping it doesn't wake up when you twist the throttle and uh, it was obvious that I had to do something with the bike and uh, I actually tried this trick on Honda and it also improved a lot acceleration and uh, everything so I decided why not to do it again on Husqvarna. The trick here is actually very very simple. What you need to do is you need to change your front sprocket. Uh, this bike it comes with a 14 tooth uh, front sprocket and you need to go only one tooth down. And what you need to do is just to find a new sprocket online. You can get it on eBay for that's where I got mine. So it was a little bit tricky to find a sprocket for Husqvarna Swart Pillen 125 because uh, there's none. Uh, but apparently uh, this is the same as KTM Duke and there's a lot of parts there's a lot of parts for KTM Duke uh, on eBay so um, I found a few places where you can buy uh, sprockets for KTM uh, I got I got one and uh, it fit perfectly fine in order to change the sprocket uh, you don't need to do much and it's actually probably a half an hour job you remove this cover there will be two nuts holding the sprocket you remove the sprocket put the new one in you don't need to uh, remove the chain or anything like that it's actually very very easy to do with the chain on and then you need to adjust uh, the tension again uh, this uh, this is enough you don't need a longer chain you don't you don't do any major modification so uh, it's uh, quick and easy and this is a completely new bike guys I it feels so much better I enjoy it much more it uh, finally it woke up and uh, you know it just feels great uh, you don't suffer from uh, from this being one to five well of course you want a bigger bike oh, you always want a bigger bike but uh, this uh, sprocket mod makes this bike very very enjoyable and the first question that probably comes into your mind is okay uh, uh, you change the sprocket um, you improve the acceleration but what about speed uh, top speed you will uh, reduce your top speed well in theory yes but in practice no you don't well first of all my take on this is uh, you don't really need to care about your top speed when you're rising one to five especially if you if you do it in a city where the speed limit is 20 or 30 miles an hour uh, you don't need top speed all you need is acceleration and that's what you get when you change the sprocket but even even that even if uh, even if you do care about the top speed it actually counterintuitive but it increases the top speed because this bike has a very small engine and uh, I'm quite a heavy rider and uh, it just doesn't get to the top speed uh, with the stock sprocket and not just for me uh, there's one video from another guy he looked lighter than, than I but still he couldn't get quicker than 50 55 miles an hour and uh, on this one I can get well uh, I can get to approximately the same speed or even quicker and uh, if you keep watching uh, in the end of this video I'll do a, um, a speed run I'll do a speed check how fast can I go so I totally recommend you do it it's very quick it costs about I don't know 15 pounds uh, it doesn't affect your warranty it doesn't uh, I don't know it just doesn't have any disadvantage so just do it and guess what I I bought a magazine uh, it's called bike and in this magazine they also recommend doing this trick even for a bigger bikes and they say the same uh, you don't need to care about top speed so much but you get uh, much better acceleration and uh, slow in slow speeds so I'm completely happy with the upgrade and I've been enjoying it for 300 miles and uh, I don't see any point to go back uh, one thing that is uh, worth mentioning is what happens to your revs. Uh, actually, what I'll do is I'll record I'll record the acceleration from zero to like 30, 40 miles an hour, so you can see for yourself what happens to revs. I say that my uh, my favorite gear to ride in in town is third or fourth, 
uh, the engine works nice and smooth it's not too much noise and uh, you still feel a nice pull uh, the bike gives you a nice pull so here is my setup I have a DJI on my chest I'll be controlling my speed on the GPS so I get the most accurate measurements I have the clocks which show slightly higher speed than it is actually is and I think that's another effect of, uh, of a gear change of a smaller sprocket for some reason it's now showing maybe two three four miles faster than I'm actually doing so I'll be checking my speed here on the GPS and I have a, another DJ to record the revs for you so you'll see uh, at which speed at which revs I run at which speed so hopefully you'll be able to see everything on this camera and hopefully this will not be blown away when I'll be doing my maximum speed runs let's go and check this out So conclusions, well first of all my gear is still here, that's good, so uh, as you saw uh, acceleration is massively improved, uh, top, uh, top speed is still there, the bike can easily do 60, it can actually do a little bit quicker but uh, I was a little bit afraid about the wind and uh, didn't feel that comfortable but it could do a little quicker. And. Uh, uh, the bike feels more alive. Well, there's no reason why you shouldn't do it. I think it's absolutely positive update So just go one tooth down from 14 to 13 uh, Teeth and there you go Enjoy it. Ride safe. Bye